So how do you actually create good AI designs with ChatGPT? Because sometimes it ends up looking like this, where you've got a t-shirt and you know this, the text is terrible, the design overall just doesn't look good. So how do you actually get to the point where you have something that someone would wanna buy? Well, let me show you kind of the process that I walked through here to get from this design to this design. And still not perfect, but we could improve on it a little bit later here. Let me show you first, though, how I got to here. So this is where we started. Lots of misspellings, bad design, t-shirt in the way. So first thing I said was regenerate, but without the t-shirt, just the design. And it finally, um, you know, it understood that I wanted just a design. So still, the text looks strange. Uh, Bigfoot spelled wrong. Fish just looks really weird. So... I went ahead and selected via very region, just the word fished. And I went ahead and asked ChatGPT to correct just this region, okay? It doesn't need to be a perfect selection. You can make it pretty sloppy. And then what happened was it fixed it to this. So this looks a lot better, um, but still we've got some misspellings down here. Bigfoot's face looks kind of weird. He kind of has like a Cyclops eye. So we had to we had to go through and fix those things, but the first thing I had to fix was the Bigfoot text. So coming down here and highlighting all of this, and then I asked ChatGPT to correctly spell Bigfoot, and it struggled at first, but eventually we got to here, and from here I wanted to actually make sure that Bigfoot's face, uh, you know, got corrected. So I painted over his face and asked for a basic um you know face for bigfoot and it actually ended up removing the face entirely so not exactly what i had asked for i kind of wanted it to put in like a better face for him um but I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this because we can't see the face of the fisherman anyway so it actually works out really well that bigfoot doesn't have a face and he's kind of in the background but um you know if we wanted to take this even farther maybe bats aren't the most appropriate um you know you know who fishes when it's like midnight and there are bats flying around i mean maybe people do i guess for certain things but okay so we might want to paint these and maybe instead of them being bats we want them to be ufos so we're going to ask chat gpt make turn these bats into flying saucer ufos now, a lot of the times I choose fun concepts like this just because they aren't trademarked. You know, no one has the ownership over aliens and UFOs and paranormal concepts. And then um, there's obviously, you know, people who are passionate about that and who, who get humor out of it and also who take it very seriously. So these concepts are a free game to integrate into your designs. If you want to put aliens in there, if you want to put Bigfoot, you want to put different creatures in there. And so the first generation that it came back with was just one flying saucer, which I think looks pretty good, but you could keep going through this process to, if you wanted there to be multiple flying saucers, you might need to highlight more of this area. So if we wanted to come in here and maybe highlight all of the white space around his head, and then it might paint in more UFOs. But I just wanted to show you guys the process here. Don't immediately ditch a design if it starts out looking like this don't immediately decide to get rid of it um you know or even if it starts out looking like this and it's not quite where you want it to be then go through the process of very region it'll save it'll it'll preserve the rest of your image and keep it exactly the same and it will only change what you want to be changed so i think that this is a really really good way to make unique designs and then you can also take this into uh, an editing tool like kittle or Photopea, which is free, or Photoshop if you're using Photoshop. So I hope this guys, I hope this helps you guys. Hope you have an amazing day. I just wanted to film this really quickly, and I'm gonna get back to enjoying my coffee. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Create something awesome. Bye.